Okay, I've got a baggie, gallon Ziploc, um, this little tub that is filled with some uh, potting, or I'm sorry, seed starting mix, and this stevia plant here, and a pair of scissors. And what we're going to do is simply take a few cuttings. We're going to come down. We want to have at least a couple of nodes where these leaves are. And the cuttings generally should be two to four inches. Next, we're just going to pull off the extra leaves. I usually leave, oh, maybe four on top like this. You see that? And then I've already poked a few holes in my mix, so I'm just going to take, put this little guy in there, firm up the soil around him, continue doing Okay, this. so again, we're going to take another cutting, snip down here, strip the leaves, leave four, and put the cutting down in the mix. And you know what? This one's a little bit long. Let's take a little bit off there. You can see there's a node right here. So let's just snip that a little bit there. And if you're working, this is best to do cool, cloudy day, early morning, or very late evening where these aren't stressed, and you never want to keep them in sunlight. We'll finish these, and then I'll show you how to bag them. We've got all these guys done, and now I'm just going to place the whole thing into a Ziploc baggie. This is just a big gallon size one. I like to use these because you can control the amount of humidity in with your plants just by opening or closing the, um, the zipper. Now a couple of things. Um, don't ever, ever, ever leave this out in sunlight. They need bright sunlight, but not direct sunlight. And for the first few days, you'll just keep this completely shut and you'll notice some condensation in there. That's okay. Um, we want these to stay nice and moist because if the, they have no root system, there's nothing that is, is um, keeping these things from drying out. So that's why the baggie, and um, you can do this also with several other types of plants. It works for lemon verbena and uh, actually quite a few other herbs. But um, this is one great way to get cuttings from your stevia plant. And just make sure if you do it, you don't use anybody's patented plant because that's against the law. Anyway, happy growing. If you are able to do some cuttings this way, I would absolutely love to see pictures.